welcome back things are going well so far so let's have a recap on the um, the docker commands that we've been using so far so we mentioned before that docker runs as a service uh, as a service the docker daemon on, on ubuntu i'm using ubuntu 16.04 uh, on a virtual machine i'm using virtual box and if we want to stop start or restart the service then we can say so do service um, docker let's say restart I'm sorry, I think I've misspelled restart. And then you provide your password and it should restart. Now, to list any running uh, containers, you do docker ps. I haven't got anything running. If you remember when we ran that, um, that uh, container in the background, the clock container, then if you do docker ps after that, if it's running in the background, it should be listed here. If you, if you want to, um, if you want to list the containers that you ran before and stopped or quitted or exited, you remember we used the, if you remember we used the docker kill or docker stop command, then what we do is docker ps minus a. And this gives us details of all the docker containers that we ran before. One thing we can add is the queue, so docker pa hyphen a queue, and this gives us a list but showing only the container IDs rather than all the details. If you notice here, we have the container ID, we have the image name, uh, we have the command that we ran when we uh, actually uh, ran the container and so on and so forth. Who created it, how long and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm sorry, not who created it, but how long it's being created. And as we mentioned, if we add the queue, we can have, uh, if we do docker ps minus q, doesn't show us anything, but if we do a queue, so minus a for all of them, a queue just show me the ID and it gives us a list of the, of the container IDs. If I want to see just the last container I ran, I do minus L, or I can do minus QL or LQ, and it give me just the container ID of, of uh, uh, that container I ran last. So if I want to remove a container, I can say docker, docker rm, and then provide the container ID. So let's remove the last one, or maybe let's remove maybe this one, let's say, yeah? So we mentioned before that we can use the first few characters as long as they are unique of the container ID. I can say 7b8 and that container will be removed. So if I do docker ps minus aq, I won't find the one that starts with 77b8 as you can see here. Um, if we do want to do the same thing, but now for docker images, I can list all the docker images that I have on my machine. I can do that by uh, ID only, so these are the images I, image IDs that I have. Now to remove an image, I can do docker remove image, but now RMI, to remove an image, docker RMI, and then I provide the um, the image name, so, or the image, rather, ID, so let's try and maybe remove this one, the, the busy box one, 47B, and it should, uh, Wait a minute. Unable to delete is being used as a sub container. Um, oh, it must be forced. So if we do minus, is it minus F? Yeah, if we do minus F, we actually force it to remove that image. So if I, um, I do Docker images minus Q, as you can see, the image ID that starts with 47B, which is the busy box one, it was there here and it's not here anymore. That means I have actually removed the image, right? But in general, there's plenty of Docker commands. If I type in just Docker, I can find um, a lot of these commands. So we've seen, for example, uh, we'll come to Docker build in the coming videos. We've seen Docker diff, we've seen for the difference, we've seen Docker images to list all the images. We've seen the kill one, um, we've seen Docker PS, and we spoke about docker pull and so on and so forth. I can rename, for example, uh, a container. I can restart a container, remove it, or remove an image, or run a container, and uh, run a container, and so on and so forth. Yeah. And if we want to find out more information about a command, then we can do, for example, docker, let's say rmi, and then minus minus help, and we can find more information, minus f to force it, for example, as we saw a few moments ago. I hope uh, it's making sense now and becoming more and more familiar with Docker. Let's stop here and I'll see you in the next video.